I've been singing with the Connecticut Choral Society for many years. I have such a great group of friends that I sing with every single week. Looking out and seeing the families, the children, listening to our music, smiling, enjoying it. There's nothing like it. And I've wanted the Connecticut Choral Society to exist for many years beyond my lifetime and wanted to establish an endowment fund that would help to preserve its legacy. So I thought, I don't know anything about endowment funds and I don't know how to set that up at all. Connecticut Community Foundation, this is Sue, how may I help you? The staff of the foundation were extremely supportive of this whole idea right from the get-go. It takes a minimum of $10,000, which can be pledged and raised over several years, to establish an endowment fund. That was my goal. So on August 16th, 2014, my partner, Wes Rouse, and I, we had our garden party gala event for the Connecticut Choral Society. A delightful aspect that made our fundraiser a special treat was that we had the Pomperog Outdoor Painters painting throughout the gardens. People could purchase the wet paintings that the painters were painting as they walked by. Many people were extremely generous. Well, I'm delighted that we now have a fund of $25,000 invested with the foundation, but that's not enough. I want to help it grow and grow and grow. Every arts organization has its annual expenses. We have to pay our director, of course. We have to pay our soloists. We have to pay orchestra members who accompany us each year. But with more funds, we could commission works to be performed by our chorus. We can bring in even more soloists. We can expand our concerts. We chose the Connecticut Community Foundation to be the stewards of our fund because they have existed for many years and have protected the funds of many nonprofit organizations such as ours.